Hi, how are you today? So in this video, I'm going to be taking another look at this Viking cassette recorder. A little while ago, I did a little review of this machine. And due to popular demand, I've decided to actually show this thing in operation. Uh, I had a lot of great feedback from that previous video. And I had many people say, you know, fire it up. We want to see it working. We want to see how it plays. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. So I've got four C batteries in this uh, tape recorder. And just to quickly go over, we have our buttons over here. We have record, rewind, fast forward, play, and stop eject. This is our volume control. This is our tone control. And we have a, an electro condenser built-in microphone right there. So I'm going to give the built-in microphone a try and see how that works and see if it uh, does a good job recording my voice. So let's give this a try. This is a test of the Viking cassette recorder. I'm using a Sony EF normal bias tape and I'm speaking into the built-in microphone on this tape recorder. So let's rewind that and see how it sounds. This is a test of the Viking cassette recorder. I'm using a Sony EF normal bias tape and I'm speaking into the built-in microphone on this tape recorder. Okay, so that sounded pretty good. Uh, definitely kind of lo-fi. Um, I'm not sure if there would be much of a difference if I used a uh, chrome tape. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that another time, uh, but uh, certainly sufficient. Uh, the built-in microphone definitely works. Let's do another little test. Hi, my name is Gary. This is the Tech Review Guy, and I'm doing a recording test of this Viking cassette recorder from the 1970s. This is a test of the Viking cassette recorder. I'm using a Sony EF normal bias tape and I'm speaking into the built-in microphone on this tape recorder. Hi, my name is Gary. This is the Tech Review Guy. recording test of this Viking cassette recorder from the 1970s. Okay, so that second recording sounded pretty scratchy. I'm sure this thing could really use a good cleaning. Um, I hope to uh, give the heads a nice cleaning and a nice uh, demagnetization sometime in the near future. Now, let's see. I'm going to try another tape. Okay, so this machine definitely works. It sounds pretty decent. So the tape I just played was a BASF Chrome Dioxid 2 uh, 90-minute cassette. Now one thing I will mention about this machine, um, I've noticed that if you, I turn the volume up too high, it will distort. So I've noticed here we have the slider, and if I keep it down in the bottom range, like around one or two, it's okay. But as soon as I go up around there 
in the middle, uh, it often will start to distort. And uh, I'll play the music again and see if I can demonstrate to you what I'm talking about. Okay, well, it seemed to play fairly good. Uh, it made a liar out of me. Uh, <laughs> so, as you can see, I turned up the volume and uh, it didn't distort, but sometimes it does. Uh, but again, it's an old machine. It's been sitting around for quite some time. I think I mentioned in the previous video that my mother and father found this at a yard sale and picked it up for me. Uh, they probably paid less than $5 for it. Uh, but it's a neat little machine. It's a, certainly a relic of a bygone day. I mentioned in the previous video that Viking was a brand that used to be sold by a, a department store here in Canada called Eaton's, which was quite famous, and they had branches all across Canada, and Viking was the electronics brand that Eaton's sold. So, yeah, I think with a little TLC and a little cleanup and a, a head cleaning and a demagnetization, I think this thing could work like new so I'll probably do that sometime down the road so thank you for watching I hope you can join us again next time please leave a comment give us a thumbs up and I hope you can join us again next time we'll see you again take care bye bye <music>